Hi folks, it's Flutteris. Today we are gonna talk about how I built the Flutter social chat, which is sponsored by Stream. And we are going to dive into some concepts like architecture and the overall app. And then um, I decided to split the video part series, like maybe four parts. Uh, I'm going to explain the flows later, but first in this video, we are going to explore the architecture and we just run the app. So let's start. Okay, first I want to show the application overall, what we have in our hands. Okay, let me run the application first. Okay, while we run the application, let me show the MVVM architecture then. Okay, we have core data domain and presentation folders in the beginning. You can think like the root, okay. So in the core, we have the core things, okay, the root ones. For example, config, we have environment config because we need some API keys, right? Maybe secrets. So after that, we have constants, enums, for example, out failure or router enum, etc. We have dependency injector. We want to register our dependencies, maybe singleton, maybe lazy singleton. So we use get it as a service locator here also we have instantiation folder we have app widget and router you know app widget is just a material app so let's go router parts in the router we have app router uh, we use go router okay navigator 2.0 and also we have interfaces folder in the interfaces folder we have the interfaces of our repositories and the repositories are exist in data folder so we have also extensions of the repositories in the data folder in here extensions part and okay, we have repositories as i said out repository and chat repository since we use two different services uh, firebase and get stream we have two different repository also we have two different implementation i'm gonna show you uh, when the time comes so let's go for domain in the domain part, okay, let me close the others. In the domain part, we have models. For example, out user model for authenticated user model. And chat user model, it's again same. We can check if a user is banned or not, when user created at, uh, the date format. So, okay, let's go. Presentation, yeah, I kept my blocks, qubits, whatever it is, uh, in presentation side. We have design system. For example, circular progress indicator, or I don't know. There are some other widgets like app bar, custom button, I say it, a text field, etc. So we have design system. For example, think like we have a button and we want to use that button in the application's other sites. For example, maybe profile, but we used in sign section, right? So we use design system. Okay, we use asset scan. Uh, this is a package because I don't want to use uh, my assets directly as string formats. Uh, it can be misleading, you know, so that I use Flutter assets. We have a localization site here. I just uh, upload the English version, but you can create maybe French, maybe Turkish, maybe, you know, other languages. So I created it. It's ready to use. Okay. You just need to create other language.rb file and that's it. And for the views, we have different views, a lot of views, okay. Uh, sign on view, SMS verification, when we, uh, okay, let's go and show. <laughs> you can select a country flag, country code in here. Then just write your phone number. I use my keyboard, by the way, you can also open your keyboard, like pressing command plus K. Yeah, that's it. But anyway, I'm going to use my a macbook's keyboard yeah this uh, number is created by me from firebase let me show yeah here it is we have bunch of numbers uh, test numbers okay i use these numbers to create some other users uh, how you can add some other users in sign method phone and when you go down you can here you can see phone numbers for testing parts okay you can add more uh, or you can delete it even so let's go okay 
let's go to code site and see what we have in our hands so i'm going to click continue button right now yeah we have a confirmation site here let me enter the sms code here one only one and verify code okay when i press it we directly uh, signed in and we can see the chats that we have we can move to profile site if i wish and we can sign out even there are some other buttons you can see like heard uh, camera bookmark and that's it uh, i just put uh, these buttons or maybe icons to there to show uh, you know it's a bit filled because uh, otherwise just chats and profile and no more it's so empty right so i just put and okay we have chats we can uh, enter the chat we can see the messages we can even uh, react as emojis yeah like this we can change it let's see yeah and also we can write some other chats write a message hey okay that's it <laughs> so yeah we can create a chat private chat one-to-one -one chat you know private one uh, we can just click and select or uh, unselect maybe we can create uh, not just a private but private plus a group okay just a group chat you can think like that uh, i'm going to add nash luke taha i don't erkan chatai and all other people and i can create like flutter devs but we have this group okay so i'm not going to create again but we can create okay let me show you anyway flutter uh, boss yeah that's good okay create group chat so okay let me go flutter boss part and write some things hey guys how are you that's fine and when i sign in with different number i'm gonna see that message but of course i need to uh, enter with the person who already joined that group right for example itunes or chatai or the other person okay yeah we can sign out okay we have a message here that we didn't see for example from nash so okay let's see how we sign out also like this that's all <laughs> so okay that was our uh, architecture site and the app flow site but before ending the video uh, we have one more flow that we didn't see this is the onboarding part so i'm not going to create a new user but instead i'm going to change the flag of my own uh, user flutter with user okay let's change i'm going to go firestore database site and change the flag of my users onboarding completed true to false yeah like this so whenever i uh, go right now uh, i can change my name this is wrong by the way but to show the onboarding process i just set my flag to true to false okay let's sh let's see let's show <laughs> yeah okay you can see the different image here because it's constant the luke's image so i'm not going to create and complete the onboarding process to lost my you know uh, flutter viz okay you can uh, create some name but of course there are some important rules that uh, you just decide maybe regex maybe other things okay uh, I remember that I don't use a complex things in here. I just use the basic ones. For example, username must be 3 and 20 characters with no special characters. Let's try some things. My name, F, for example. That's good. But when I want to add some special characters like a question mark, let's see. Okay, here. Uh, it doesn't accept the question mark. So this is wrong. I mean, this is the correct way, correct approach. So we did well. When I delete and uh, just write another other things, look, it, it's okay totally, but we use space in here, right? So we need to delete it. And we need to also delete the latest part. Yeah. So we actually control some basic things. 
maybe a length, maybe just basic regex. No special characters like the German S, right? Yeah. Okay, anyway, so we can uh, also create a user from the onboarding process like this. Of course, we can create any other users from the file store directly, but anyway. So let's move to view site and uh, stop the video. We have sign in SMS verification, profile onboarding, landing, dashboard, create chat, directly chat, and bottom tab parts. Bottom tab is just a bottom navigation part. Uh, that's also a view. So, okay. The landing part, maybe you are going to ask, is let's refresh the app and see the landing part, what it is. So, as you know, right now we are in the onboarding process, right? Okay, let's see when I want to restart the application. What we are going to see. Okay, this is the landing page, okay? We just wait. We need to decide where to go. So, since we didn't uh, completed the onboarding process, uh, process onboarding process i mean the is onboarding parameter false as you know it means that uh, we are in still uh, existing onboarding process okay we need to complete it but we also complete the sign up process so there are some bridge okay and we need to skip that bridge uh, how of course just creating profile so that's all and after we completed our profile like uh, finishing the onboarding process when we switch or is onboarding completed parameter false to true uh, the landing page understand that we signed up correctly and also we created our profile so that we can go to chats i mean the dashboard section so that's all today's session has been completed today we saw a maria architecture and the overall application so thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video take care and goodbye Flutter